Hey you and welcome back to some Banished. We are in Bellaton today. Uh, I just been missing the place. Thought we'd drop by and see how things have been going. Now I haven't done a single thing. This is where I logged out and this is exactly where we're starting. So I'm not sure that there's much to see, but at any rate, okay, we've got a full barn. That's something to note because look at all the food sitting outside and what? <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice this morning, so if I get a little creaky on occasion, I apologize in advance. You know what? Um, someone wrote to me and said, "Are the wells? do the wells actually do anything? You know, are they good for fire? And I'm assuming in a fire they're going to be. I mean, the closest source of water is going to be a good thing. But, you know, maybe they hang around the well. You know, it's like their version of the office coffee machine. That's where you go to hang out and, and have a chat and find out what your neighbors are doing or what up and coming young man is going to be available for marriage soon. All those important things in village life. And they are, they, they're very important. So they're not bringing the food to here. At some point we have got to get a market down. And okay, here's what I'm thinking. We'll have to move these fields into some farming area at some point and then put a market in here, maybe just right here. We'll have a market, little village green. We've got the boarding house, which does nothing useful but looks very nice. <laughs> and <clears throat> as much as I loved the idea, and I still do, oh, I gotta take care of my chickens. I forgot my chickens. Um, of having the town hall sitting here for people to see as they came into town and making a great first impression. The reality is, is on the docks, that's where you put the pubs. And we've got a pub starting up here. So you know what? Maybe we've got this area covered. <laughs> Maybe that's all we need to do with there. And I did want to, however, look at the map. And I was thinking, see, right over here, I believe, is about the biggest semi-flat area it's a good one anyway it's a good area on this map and I'm thinking if this were really cleaned out I mean really or yeah and we could run this road up through maybe this is where I get to build my tunnel probably not it still seems like it's just quicker to go around but we could put in a town center here like a, a downtown and have an urban area we will have the village green I like it live deal with <laughs> it'll be fine you'll see we'll get to clean out all these resources which will be awesome little boost to our economy and I'm thinking you know a market on one side a church uh, the town hall and a hospital and then really build up the houses around that which will of course be the spot of doom when a disaster does strike oh no I have disasters turned off in Bellington Bellington so it, that it'll be fine it'll be absolutely fine. But that's what I'm thinking anyway of clearing this area out and making it downtown Bella. Bella Tun. I'm not awake yet this morning. I, I have worked all weekend. I'm working more overtime coming up. I'm kind of tired and I haven't gotten through all my coffee yet. So I apologize. Maybe I should start this over. No, I don't have time. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I think, you know what, let's go in and, and do that. Um, Actually, the first thing I want to do is take care of my poor little chickens. You know what? If I'm not going to put a town hall up here, I am just going to put a few houses here. They can be people that work this area <coughs> and clean up um, clean up the resources here. So let's do that first. Let's get a road. Just, just you know, something like that. We'll, we'll put a house or two along here. What's this? Oh, we have lots of stone. Let's put in some stone houses. They at least make a good first impression, right? That'll be fine. And we'll put just a couple down here, maybe. Um, you know, we'll swing that round and put it on this side of the road. And I think I'm going to put in a pasture maybe here. And we'll just, we'll have just these guys be chicken farmers. Now, I'm going to leave some space here. Or should I? I'm thinking for a cemetery, but we're going to have another church. And we probably end up with a third one down at the south part of the map as well. So you know what, maybe we don't need more cemetery space, but just in case, you know what, we, we'll let these guys be the chicken farmers, and we are just going to do this, and there they be. We'll go 11 by 11, sure. Sounds like a good place for chickens, and I am going to up the priority on that. 
So somebody actually comes over here and looks after it. And we'll give them a house as well. And then we will designate that a chicken farm. There we go. Because the poor little guys have got to start. they got to be cold. I don't remember when I bought them. But, you know, it's winter. Oh, food. My next, my next town I'm building in here, I've decided, is going to be a vegetarian community. Yes. Completely vegetarian community. And um, starting it on hard. So they will have no seed. And they won't eat meat. So we're looking at a lot of gathering. And doing a lot of mining. I think they're going to have to base their economy on tools. So that they can buy wool. Because if, they, if, you, if you do sheep for wool, you end up with mutton. And that will be a no fair thing. So I, I think we're gonna, I'm going to start it on hard. And... Um, and make them, you know, outcasts. They've been banished from Texas because they wouldn't eat the barbecue. And, you know, they just got to go out and find a life of their own somehow, some way. And there you go. So, you know what? I am going to put the road along. You know, it'd be nice, you know, a little path along the, along the lake, right? Because... It'll look pretty, and it'll miss this whole hill thing, and we can straight in through these two little hills and start building in this area over here. Uh, where are we? No, I want this one. Okay, so we, you know, just got to start somewhere. Don't really have a plan for this. Now, what all I intend to do with this is, um, you know, let them go ahead and build the road in. We will put, <coughs> excuse me, a stockpile back here because I'm going to be clearing a lot along here so we will put a couple of stockpiles in just tuck them in and uh, out of the way a little bit now I don't know we might want some mining or something here where are we going to put a stockpile because you don't want to just I, I don't know what happens if you just delete it do they move everything do you lose your resources some games are fair about things like that and others are a little bit not very pleasant so we'll try to keep it out of the way at any rate now, how do we do this? How do we do this? Okay, what's the biggest? What are the biggest? So that's the town hall. Not not that big. That's okay. The church is not much different. The cemetery is whatever you want. The hospital, not too big. We know what the schools are like, and I'll be putting in another one over here for sure. I want a well in the village green, and I'm wondering about trying... We've got to try the... Uh, orchards in long strips and see what the minimum naturally why don't we just do that right now the orchards would be what too small too small what is the oh come on really all right what are we gonna do here they'll let us do that that's not bad too small um, too large okay that works but Four. Hmm. Three? We're getting better? <laughs> no, it says it's too small. No, I don't want it to be too small. So 4 by 15 works, but... Now 4 by 8? That's a little block. I could do a series of 4 by 8s, maybe? I don't know. See, I, I'd like it to have it more narrow. That's the thing. Is, is narrow and long would be awesome. Hmm. What we can do a four. We can do four wise. So maybe, I don't know, maybe. Well, you know, to decorate in trees or have a village green with trees at least along one side. I'd like it all the way around, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. And the biggest building is probably going to be our market. Um, yeah, absolutely. So see there, we've got a market. That's our area. And I thought, that that's downtown. We're just going to build that up. We'll have regular streets, um, you know, with lots of houses together. Because there's always people who like to live that way. <clears throat> so, is the market going to be the... It looks like the market should be the center of things. I could have the village green beside the church, maybe. Or between, between the church and the town hall. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, let's just pop the market right there. Right here, where are we going to have the absolute most space? 
that's one thing I'm finding on the uh, mountain map is that nothing is, is completely efficient because everything's got a hill taking up part of it. So you're not getting the full resources from anything that you're using. Um, but you know what? This will be fine, right? I think this is just going to be fine. Tucked in here between those two little hills. Yeah, this will be good. So there is our market. Now I'm going to pause this immediately because I do not want to have some building frenzy that just destroys my town. So we will have a market there. That's good. That will be happy. One thing I need to do first off is start clearing some of this because I will replant. Absolutely. We know this. But we need resources and I just want this cleared out. So we need a name for a bunch of Texans who wouldn't eat barbecue and they were simply asked to leave the state. Now I'm going to be making jokes about these people and I want you to know right up hand that I have lived in Texas and I adore the place so anything I say that may sound like I'm picking on Texas I love it, okay? I could live in San Antonio for the rest of my life and never have a sad day. I absolutely adore the place. I love the food. And there and and while I am a vegetarian for the most part most of my life, Texas barbecue. <laughs> Last time I was in Texas, I was along the river walk in San Antonio and we're sitting there and you could smell this stuff and there was a, you know, a Spanish band playing and walking along and the, the, the boats are going up and down the canal and the lights at night and you're just sitting there and the waitress comes outside and we're, you know, and it's like, oh God, I haven't had meat in years. You know, we'll kill something because it's Texas barbecue, guys. <laughs> and that's what I told her. Okay, kill me a chicken. I want the whole thing. But, um... <clears throat> And I will be making fun, you know, of, of the vegetarian situation. And as someone who doesn't eat meat very much, kangaroo in Texas barbecue, or kangaroo in Australia, barbecue in Texas, clam chowder in San Francisco, fish and chips in the UK. And other than that, you know, I can pretty much live without it. But um, I, I'm allowed to make jokes because these are my people. <laughs> it's okay. It'll be good. So anyway, uh, I, we, we're going to need a road around the town hall. See, I should have let this get cleared out first because it's so hard to see these little things. So there's our road here. And, oh, and hopefully, did I catch it? I don't know if I did or not. Ah, it blazes right there. Yeah, I don't know where the road is. You know what? I think I'm just going to let them clear us out. But that's what I will be doing. And then we'll put in a, a town hall and a lovely church and a village green. And then we'll have a hospital and schools and just pack this thing with houses. And downtown Bellaton will be born. I like this. So let's speed this up just a little bit. And while they make the road and start clearing that area, let's go have a look at what's going on elsewhere. Okay, food is doing good. We've got firewood enough for the winter I do believe but let's check out our housing situation um, nothing has happened up here yet at all well it was pretty slow I should have sped it up a little bit uh, things are going all right what do we have here oh look a new retirement village these people need houses now yeah I know I need to do more of that right but I don't like fast growth either. I like to watch the children. And as long as there are children being born and doing the proper little things, I, I just like to kind of sneak up on the growth. I like to keep it a little bit slow, a little bit easy. You know what? Let's put a fellow down here who just loves fishing. Likes to, oh, I didn't want to take that tree out. Right there. Right here. Oh, right behind the pub. Maybe this is the guy. No, that's too close. <laughs> Imagine the noise level for this poor man at night. No. Okay, over here. There you go. Loves fishing. He can work there. Our orchard is looking well. That's great. Um, we do need some more homes. We got a couple being built down at the end. So that's going to take care of a little bit of overflow for us. Oh, not enough. We have a lot of people coming out wanting homes. Ooh. Well, the food is probably okay for a few more houses, but 
just gotta be careful. And I do have to tear all these down. Now we need a farming area as well, don't we? Um, and I had this going up. Okay, so as soon as this goes up, you know what? I think I'll just move more sheep over there. I think you can do something like split these. I really don't remember. Oh, somebody died. <gasps> he was crushed by a rock. See, there are stories in this town. There are stories that need to be told. Absolutely. That's doing okay. That's doing okay. We have our little druid enclave back here. More housing needed. And then farming. I want to do a, you know, serious farming section somewhere on this map. If we have any of those left. Do we have big spots left? Right over here. Oh, looky here. There we go. Farms are us, right there. We can put in a whole, just actually make a proper farming area. I think that's a great idea. But for right now, we do need some more houses. And you know what? If we're going to go farming, let's just make them back in that direction. We will grab the road along here and just start running this back a little bit. Uh, and they're going to have to clear. So come and clear all those trees. Now these guys are here, so let's clear back a ways, back further, right? Yeah, I think so. We'll put farming back here. Ah, let them deal with that. We will need more storage on site for sure. And we'll put some houses that away and I really have got to keep an eye on the clock because I have to go to work work is calling like now <laughs> actually there's the chicken or a farm there you know what? I'm gonna do this up along the side and then through here a little bit and I'll put some oh some housing back here it'll be much nicer right this guy can work the farm. He'll like that. Actually, we'll take him back in the trees. He can walk through the trees a little bit to get to the road. I don't think he's going to immediately die if he has to walk a couple of steps off the road. And we'll just stick this guy over here because, you know, I'd like to live along the river. That'd be nice. Oh, I scared the deer off. I'm oh, so sorry. So this is almost ready. We will take one of these laborers and turn him into a herdsman. And then there is a way to split this, right? Split. But I guess I have to have somebody working it before I can split it. I think. Maybe. We'll find out. I have no idea. And let's go check on the chicken farm. Is that coming up? Things are happening a little bit. Yeah. And housing. They're working. Sort of. But that's okay. We has a trader in the shop, in the place. What has he got? Cherry seeds. Okay, we had plums, right? I think we, look at the cost. Now, all of the seeds I have seen up until right this second have been $2,500. So does, is this going to mean that every single time I buy seeds, they cost more than last time? Because that kind of blows. Oh my goodness. Really? See, leather, hide coats. All he wants are these things. Okay, well, this isn't looking very well, is it? Overpaying. What? Oh, no, because I haven't picked this yet. Please. Oh, God. There's not... We're, we can't even come close to this, can we? This would be 14. Oh. Can we get there from here? I want to get there from here. Oh, so close. <laughs> we are going to clear out our, our trading post here, aren't we? Firewood. Overpaying by 15 units. Well, that's fine. All of that for cherries. And then when I have more animals come in, I... Oh, what's happening to my chickens? They're dying. I may get nothing out of the chickens. They'll be dead before I get them into a farm. Oh, that's good. 
Well, I now have cherry seeds. Let's hope they were worth it. Okay, so priority here, guys. Get building. I need chickens to not be all dead. What do I have? Four left? It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's a second one there. Okay, so I, I have enough for breeding. I just have to get somebody back here doing this. <sighs> okay, bigger priority. More priority. <laughs> we have plenty of logs. We have stone, iron, tools, all the things. So this guy is going to start filling these things up again. Now the tools are sitting at 150, so let's hope our blacksmith can make them before this guy cleans us out. We'll end up with no tools. That would be not good. Oh, and I want to play this game forever, and you know what? I can't. I have to go to work. That's really all there is to it. So, yeah. So we'll check back next time and see if we manage to save a chicken or two and get them moved over here. Um, I will probably let the game run for just a little bit without doing too much to it for a while um, in terms of building and just let them clear some land. I may have to put up another couple of houses here and there, of course. Uh, let's take care of this right now, though. Herdsman. If we get another herdsman and we tell it to be sheep, can we? Is there someone working there? Yeah. Now, um, two of three. Oh, the other one must be done. Okay. So now I do have three. Okay, let's, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I want to check out my chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Come on. No, is it ready? Oh, it's not ready, but it was close enough. Okay. Hurry. Just, I want to see that done before I leave. I'm sure you guys understand, right? So half of these will now go somewhere. Oh, here, here they come. Oh, no, they're just coming to pick up the slaughtered sheep from before. Now, I don't know how they decide uh, what gets slaughtered and what doesn't. Uh, I'm assuming that when there's a certain, you know, number of animals per square feet that they say that's too many and kill them, or maybe it's an age thing. And there goes my little shepherd harding his sheep over the hills and across the dales and all those fun things and putting them into the other, uh, the other pasture. And how goes this one? Four chickens left. All that money for chickens, and I let them die. Build faster. Oh, God, I'm looking at the clock. I have to leave. <laughs> it's too bad I can't play this game at work. That would be awesome. So what's this little fella's name? Demon. We have another demon. We have a demon cleric and a, a demon, demon citizen. But you know he's building like a little demon. I love him. That is so... Maybe they're called Damon. Demon. They're a demon. They're demon. That's what it is. I bet you that's what it is. That's our version. We're sticking to it, right? Build faster. I have to go to work. Mm-hmm. Here he comes. There he Oh, not for the house. Go to the pasture, darling. Go to the pasture, darling. And I need to get more traders. Oh, God, we have no laborers. Okay, let's drop the farming because that's not... And see, I have to watch that. I have three new houses. We're going to have a whole bunch of babies being born. And uh, three, four new houses coming. So we're going to have a whole bunch of little babies born here. And that's going to be a problem. Oh, herbs. That'll be awesome. We can sell some of that. Um, got a bunch of kids here who should... Actually, with 20 kids in school, some of these, when they reach age, they will go right into the labor force because they don't have a second school yet. And well, that's kind of sad for them. It works out really well for me. <laughs> Child labor for the win. I suppose I could speed this up, but then it just gets ridiculous. 93%. Let's cheer him on. Go, Damon, go. Go, Damon, go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying the vegetarian community because they're going to be tough. That is going to be hard to do. So, chickens. So we do have a herdsman. No, we only have two or four. Oh, that's right. I took one away. Now we have three of possible four. How come four? I have three fields. 
and four herdsmen, four possible herdsmen. Do I have another field I've forgotten about? One, two, three. Don't know. Don't think so. But nobody's coming to work here. I have to have four of four for that to work. So let's drop one farmer or one fisherman. We could drop a fisherman, leave the farmers. There's lots of fields and they have some traveling to do. So, um, okay, so he's over here, what? Oh, here's chicken. I have one. We have one. We have two. Two chicken, is that it? We lost two in transit. I suppose everything will want to eat a chicken. There's none left here. Well, I bought six, got two. Let's hope they're a male and a female. <laughs> and you take very good care of them, sir. I am counting on you to be the chicken master extraordinaire. Well, we have a chicken field. I gotta go to work. There we go. So we are planning downtown Bellaton. And um, I'm, I love this game. So until I see you guys next time, live your life happy. Have a great, great, great Sunday. And uh, I will see you as soon as possible. Please hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And uh, live your life happy. Build it beautiful. Bye-bye.